I think this is her now. Monique. Thank God. The hotel doesn't have any record there as regards payment. They don't know that you, the whiff, I mean, are, are picking up the uh, tab for the competitors. Uh, well, we are yeah. picking up the tab. Uh, but you're not one of the competitors. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Well, yeah, I'm Crawford. I'm Crawford McKenzie. You, you wrote to me personally, inviting me to be part of the hair off. Oh, I, I did write this. Um, this is a form letter. However, each year our, our computer picks 100 people at random off our associate membership list and we invite them to come to LA uh, to the hair off, but to be part of the audience on the big night. <clears throat> So this is just, um... Well, if you see here at the bottom, it says that we've reserved you a hotel booking, a courtesy hotel booking. Everyone, the whole lucky hundred gets it. It's at the preferential group rate, so... Wendy, I'm from Scotland. Great. In Scotland, when someone invites you to a hair competition, to participate, it usually means you'll be participating in that hair competition and not sitting in the back row of the stalls with 99 lucky new friends chewing on a fucking raisin head. Sorry, right, this, this has been a dreadful misunderstanding. No, no, it's fine, really. Honestly, it's OK. I've come 7,000 miles to be part of a hair competition I'm not even in, but it's fine. It's really not a problem. It's not. Thank you. Thank you very much. Look at this. Ten dollars for a tin of cherry cola. Where in this bill does it say that you have to pay for these things? Right there, sir. Where else does it say you have to pay for them? Where else on the bill does it say that? Yeah, I got a double occupancy thing. I think it was a wise choice moving out of the last hotel. You know, it was way too flash. Too much opulence is, is bad for my instrument. You don't feel this is a bit of a come down for you? No, not at all. I actually like it here. I think it's a lot more cutesy, kind of charming. I mean, look, look at that. It's sweet, isn't it? That Rococo kind of design. And I think that's the difference between Britain and America. Even in the demi looks category here, they make the effort. Mind you, you're still not actually in the competition. Of course I'm still in the competition, Martin. It's been a tiny bureaucratic error. It'll all be fine tomorrow morning. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is very dangerous. It smells good. <coughs> um, Maybe there's an air freshener in it. <laughs> you know, there's kind of like a potpourri inside or something. You're gonna make your room smell nice. I'll open a window anyway. Curtis, could you do something about this? Do you like spicy food? This isn't that spicy. It is to me. You want hot food? I'll take you down to Mexico and show you some really hot food. You know, that'd be great. Actually, if we get time, we should do that. We should all go down. Mm. <laughs> Turn over. So, what did you get up to this morning? I went down to Koreatown and I saw Choco, you know, aiming the limo driver's friend. And um, he seemed like a nice guy and everything. Although uh, it was a horrible neighbourhood, I was really glad to get out. It seemed a bit expensive just to rent a car. 
anyway we're mobile. <laughs> Want a drink or something? Don't worry. I don't think you're meant to eat them. I think they're just garnish. <laughs> nice ride, man. Thank you. You can see what you like about our friend Damon, but he really pulled the cat out of the box with this one. I'd love to see their faces if I drove down Sucky Hall Street in this. It's quite big, isn't it? That's a Doris Day mobile. Oh, but the thing is, they drink petrol by the gallon. So do half my friends in Glasgow. So where are we going? Monique's. Do you really think that's a good idea? Yeah. She is the organiser. It's partially my fault. I let my ego get in the way. Wouldn't let bygones be bygones. Anyway, she'll change her mind when she sees my portfolio. It's amazing. I mean, really, all of it. This is just... Thank you very much. It's tremendous. I mean, I... I... Thank you. I apologize. I understand now why you thought you may have been. Really, uh, th there's no need. It was my fault. I lost my temper. Sorry. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to put you in the best seat in the house, right here, between Daniel Day-Lewis and Carrot Top. Thank you very much, Monique, but I came to compete. Right. <clears throat> um, Crawford, with all due respect, these stylists are international stars. Okay, three stylists compete every year. The top hairdressers in Beverly Hills are not invited. So, I don't know, you know, Monique. how else I can explain that. I'm coming. But I'm as good, if not better, than any of them. You really don't understand, do you? You mean it doesn't matter how good you are? Look, of course it matters, but we don't even know who you are, okay? And then it could take years before you were ever selected. I want to enter anyway. You can't just enter, you have to be invited. Then invite me. I can't. I don't know who you are. I'm Crawford McKenzie. Hi. Look, even if I could just let you in, you're not even qualified to compete. You're not even a member of the Guild. You're not even a member of HAG. At the very least, all the stylists are members of the Guild. It's a competition requirement, okay? Then I'll join. I'm sorry. Please. Hairdressers of America Guild. Right, I need one day's work in a salon to get my HAG union card. If I can't get a day's work here, I might as well hang up my crimping tongs and hobble off into the sunset. Get up, hang around. Hi. I, I'd like to speak to Stig, please. Do you have an appointment? Uh, no. Would you like to make one? I can fit you in Tuesday at 2. You misunderstand. I'm a fellow stylist. I'd like to speak to him personally. I'm sorry. You can't even speak to me without an appointment. Oh, don't be ridiculous. What? You're ignoring me now because I don't have an appointment. <laughs> Hello? Kimberly, let him in. Welcome Thank to you. Valhain. What an honor to finally meet you, Mr. Well, I'm sure it is. I can't really believe it. Well, you believe it. I'm standing right here, huh? You know, I've been a huge fan of yours. Okay, look, I didn't have a bloody day. Can we go on with the questions, please? I've been using your salmon finishing rinse on my mother, and I've noticed pre-drying a slight air of burnt toast. Is that normal? Wait, Remind you, us of Excuse me, excuse me. What, what, you, ah, uh, OK, wait. Come here. Yes, yeah, hello. What, my what, name's what? Martin Samuels. I'm making a TV... What, to be a TV, yeah. yeah. It's a film documentary about Crawford McKenzie. 